What's up guys, welcome to the video. This is a continuation from the first day that we ever picked up the Z. So a lot has actually happened since the last time you guys got an update on the Z. Danny from Entice has fully polished the paint on this thing. Yeah, it's as good as it possibly can be. You guys remember it had 14 years of dirt just caked on this paint and actually looks 10 times better than what it did. All the moldings are in really good shape. The paint actually, surprisingly for how old it is, is in pretty good shape too. And we've done a lot mechanically to the car. So currently right now, I am working on putting in new spark plugs. The spark plugs that were in here were extremely, extremely old. John went ahead and changed all of the injectors over here. All of them were leaking completely and now we're in the process of changing up some of these vacuum lines and we got new spark plug wires. What else did we get, John? Captain rotors, spark plug wires, new injectors. New battery, new oil. Battery. Main, just the basic tools. Yeah, the, stuff, just the, the basic maintenance and stuff. And yeah. I guess this is, this is in the past for you guys watching now. We are on a very, very short deadline. This car has to be done by tomorrow night. Today is Monday, the car needs to be done by Tuesday night so I can drive this to my shop Tuesday night to get it ready for me to surprise Tiana on Valentine's Day. You guys have already seen that video, but right now we're in like rush slash panic mode to make sure that this thing can drive from this shop down to San Diego, which is about an hour and a half away. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up these spark plugs. John's gonna finish up all the vacuum lines and stuff and I'll update you guys once we get all of that done. Well, she's really messy. Don't pay attention to any of the spark plug wires or anything right now. This is just temporary. I think it's uh, I think it's time to try and start this thing and see if it'll run and see if it'll stay on. Most importantly, we're serenading the sweet Z with the music of its time. Hopefully that helps us start. All right, are you ready, John? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? This is the moment of truth. I'm nervous. I am so nervous. Tiana, you better love this freaking car, dude. All right, here we go. John? You gotta think a couple cranks, though. All right. Uh, go ahead. Try eight, no. Oh, we've got power. Added in a new battery too. The interior lights work. What's up? All right, we're gonna give it the first try here. Oh, that did not sound good. Yeah. We drained all the fuel out, so we gotta. Okay. All right. Oh, it's almost, it's almost there. Come on, baby. Come on, girl. Oh, here we go. Come on, baby. Oh, she's, she's alive. She's alive. Yes. It sounds good. It's running on its own. John. Amen. Oh my God. It's a little work, but dude, she's, it's running. Super yeah, listen smooth. to it, dude. When we, when we were trying to turn it on back where we got it, it didn't even want to stay on at all. Yeah. It was rough, but it's running really smooth. Now we're just going to change out the oils, check all the gaskets, make sure there's no leaks, and go from there. Yeah. Yes! Oh my God. All right, okay, so we uh, put the greaser on the engine earlier before Danny pressure washed it. So it's still smoking a little bit and burning off all of that. It was smoking earlier when we turned it on, but this car hasn't really been started in God knows how long. It was sitting in that garage for 14 years. No smoke coming out of the rear. The tail lights work, the headlights don't work, so we need new headlights, but we got this freaking car to start. This car sat in a garage for 14 years without ever being started. Didn't run when we picked it up. Now it's running. I am so hyped right now. So still some things that we need to get done. I'm gonna let this thing warm up, make sure it doesn't overheat or anything like that. And then we're going to change the oil and do all the other small maintenance stuff. One thing that I am noticing, it idles really high, but uh, that's all adjustable. I'm gonna go ahead and take it for a little drive to see if it smokes and uh, kind of just test out how the car is right now. And I don't have headlights, so I can't really go too far. That's reverse. All right, I'm going. Good, dude. Dang, this car sounds sweet. All right, first drive. John, no power steering, so. All right. Here I go. Okay. Dude, we're driving. 
We are full on driving in the Z, baby. It feels good. That's a weird noise. Need to check what that is. But, good news, car drives. Quick update here. Uh, that clunking noise is actually the wheels not being tight all the way. Yeah, we drove it with like the wheels on barely any thread. So, tightened up the wheels and guess what? This car feels incredible and it drives like really nice. <laughs> I'm fucking flipping it. This is amazing. It feels great. Oh, I'm hyped. We're going for a real ass drive in this car. You ready for this, John? I feel like I'm in the 70s right now, dude. Bro, look at me go. No noises or yeah, anything, smooth. dude. So smooth. Drive, it drives straight, nice. not even touching it. We did it, John. Previously, you guys saw that we actually got the 280Z running. Well, today we're just focusing on all of the nitpicky stuff that I didn't like about the car, such as we took off the, or the front bumper bar and the rear bumper bar. You guys can see them rear and the front right there. We did that this morning, spent all day just doing. Danny actually detailed the interior of this car. Granted, there's still tears and the dash is kind of messed up, but he vacuumed, cleaned all of the trim in here so it all looks nice, and we ripped out the back carpet because it was all nasty and gross. But this car, is like it's a night and day difference from when we bought it to what it looks like now so what we're currently doing right now we have new wheels and tires coming in they're just temporary these wheels are no good and these tires are also rotted out and they have bubbles in them as well so we had to go with a quick option for wheels and tires we're gonna go pick those up in about 30 minutes or so also unexpectedly we found I don't know how would I explain it we added the 240z front lip to the 280z all we have left to get for the front end right here is we need a pretty cool grill which we can buy aftermarket as well as some lights to go in there while we were buying this lip today we also found this polished valve cover that we're going to put on as well to make the engine bay look a little bit nicer good things keep on rolling in good news the wheels just arrived now these are like mst wheels or something like that but they're bronze they're 15 by 8 with a zero offset they're gonna look really good on the car give it a little bit of width and these are just completely junked out rusted the lug nuts are old. Every wheel only has three lug nuts, even though it's a four lug wheel. So a much needed upgrade, especially with the tires, because those tires, like I said, are all rotted out. Since it is Tiana's car, these are just a temporary set of wheels and tires. We can use these as spares later on. Once we actually decide what color we're gonna do the car, what wide body kit we're gonna do the car and stuff like that, that's when we can go ahead and order like the SSRs or works or hopefully she wants TEs because that's my favorite wheel. But just these temporaries for now to get me to be able to drive home tonight because tonight is our deadline. So I guess right now we'll go ahead, throw the wheels on and then start on the front lip. Ooh, and some new lug nuts. Before we change the wheels, I want to give you guys a little before look, do a little walk around here. Man, this thing has come such a long way in just like what? We've had this car for like three days. All right, let's change these things. Dude, it looks sick. Those are tight. Once you lower it, it'll look a lot better. Yeah. For what it is, dude, <laughs> for what it is, stock body, stock suspension, those wheels are perfect. Let's do the fronts. After an extremely, extremely long day, we have finally got everything that we wanted to do besides like oil, transmission fluid, and differential fluid. All of the body work that we wanted to do, finally done. The wheels are on, the new front lift. This car looks like a totally new car. We stopped at the gas station, so I thought I would do a little video update while I'm here because the lighting is super, super good here. Everything came out amazing and I am so unbelievably happy. Tiana is going to be stoked. So now we just put some 91 in it. The car's running amazing. The headlights are working now, so we're going to take it back do all the fluid change and i'll see you guys when i get to my warehouse i'll explain everything about this car once we get to my shop first off i want to show you guys how well this thing starts up though the starter has a little bit of issue sometimes but check this out started perfect 
every single time. Yes. two-day project it's a valve cover so oh dude look at that damn Gross. that's sick dude it's a new gasket all cleaned up John layer on there it is. Dang, that's just that's just the the icing on the cake right there John the we end? did the exterior we did the interior and now we gave the engine just a little bit of love that looks good This is the final goodbye until the reveal. You guys absolutely killed it. Thank you so much. I have about a 150 mile drive back down to my shop, so. Not bad. One yeah. mile at a time. Quarter mile at a time. Quarter I think I think she'll do I think she'll do good for me. Alright. Hi right, buddy. See you. I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't pretty nervous and scared right now. This is a set this is a super old car that we just finished up. So far, so good. About 10 minutes in, going at 70 miles an hour. No noises or anything, so um, I'll, I'll update you guys once I stop, uh, probably around halfway, just to make sure everything's still looking good. Made it to the first gas station. Temperature looks good, oil looks good. The car literally had zero issues. It makes no noises, rides super smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and see how much I use because my fuel gauge isn't working. So I'm gonna see how many gallons I used from here to the shop so I can kind of gauge how well this thing is on gas. And then uh, I'll update you guys once we make it to my shop. Seventy-seven 280Z that wasn't even running two days ago. That is absolutely insane to me. Look at what this car looks like now. It is a completely different car than the one that I bought. I can actually not believe this. I am so unbelievably in love. It's gonna hurt me to give this to Tiana, but I can only imagine her reaction when she sees this car in this garage. I'm gonna pull it in and give you guys the plan. I seriously just can't help but smile when I look at this car. I mean, to see like where we bought this thing and to where it is now, it's just like, I'm just very, very proud. John and Danny helped me more than anyone else that I know ever would have helped me with this car to get it to where it's at today. Without John, this car would still be just a hunk of metal in a garage, so. So, for the plan, the plan for this car is, for the past two days, Tiana thinks I've been rewiring the BRZ to get it ready for drifting and doing all my uh, turbo stuff for the BRZ, but in reality, I haven't touched the BRZ in a very, very long time. This project came up, I talked to John, we went to go check it, we, you guys saw, we checked out two different cars. This one ended up being the right one. I guess in the last video where I surprised Tiana, you guys got, the entire rundown of you know what this car was. So sat in a garage for 14 years, untouched, unstarted, just totally neglected. All the basic maintenance that you'd want to do on any old car: spark plugs, spark plug wires, injectors. Uh, we changed out the fuel. We did the oil. We did uh, cabin rotor. The car started. The car runs. It drove 100 plus miles from Enticed all the way down to my shop, and now it's here. So the plan is this car is a surprise to Tiana, not only for our, uh, a wedding gift and an engagement gift from me to her, but also 
Uh, it's our first project that we're really going to do in this garage. Tools are going to start coming in. All Everything that we'll need to actually work on cars is going to be coming in soon. And I figured this is the perfect car or the perfect project to start for me and her and my first ever shop as well as an engagement gift. I figured we would restore this thing to exactly how she wants it and then on our wedding day we're going to drive off and our 280Z that we built together. So that's the plan for this car. I give it to her on Valentine's Day which is two days away. Tomorrow is my birthday and then the next day is Valentine's Day so I had to get it in the shop tonight. We made the deadline. The car runs amazing and she gets to drive it on Valentine's Day. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close up shop, go drive my Evo home, and uh, I guess I'll actually finish this video once I actually surprise her with the car, so. I'm so stoked.